Manjaro weight loss, what I eat in a day on Manjaro with 68 pound weight loss. I'm starting off my day with an Americano, which is simply two espressos. I just use my Nespresso machine. Um, two Nespresso's with hot water. It Because it's so frothy, I don't even add any sort of creamer or anything like that. It's absolutely delicious and I am completely obsessed with how simple it is to make. Usually the count makes me coffee, but not today. Because the house is really quiet, I decided to start making some protein overnight oats. And so getting protein in, 120 grams of protein is my goal for today for my Manjaro What I Eat in a Day, 120 grams. So I am trying to psych myself out by hiding this cottage cheese. I'm going to blend it and change the texture. I, I'm a very much a texture person and I don't like the texture of cottage cheese unless it's in a salad with Thousand Island dressing. So I'm going to blend it. I realized when I was blending it, because it does have high protein and it's chunky, I needed to add my unsweetened almond milk into there. Um, see, now it's not, it's not blending at all. So I had to add my unsweetened almond milk to it and then it makes it more frothy, thicker. It kind of reminded me of an Alfredo. Hello, I am a foodie. Yes, ma'am, Pam, I am. And so for my Manjaro Tears Appetite Weight Loss, I have been really adverse to having oats. I decided to try it because I could really put a lot of protein into it. I've been working with a dietitian who's been super, super helpful to kind of reframe some things for me to help get me fuller um, and to help with my 100-pound weight loss journey. I added two um, scoops of the protein powder. If you guys want me to do a blog post on this, let me know. I can totally put all of the ingredients together with it. But it was two scoops of the protein. Um, it was a half a cup of the – I just used – oats, like the regular, not instant oats, but regular oats, a tablespoon of chia seeds, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I also added in there with my protein powder, um, it was the pumpkin spice one. So it's like very pumpkin-y tasting. And then I had in there also a half a teaspoon of my um, vanilla extract as well. This was so much. That one uh, glass container was actually two serving sizes. It's so much protein in there. It was like 80 grams or something like that when I measured it all out. So I literally have eaten half. I just actually had one. Um, it's so good. And they last about four different days. So you just mix it around, do the hokey pokey, and you mix it all about. It is the most protein filling thing. And for my Manjaro weight loss, getting my protein in to help prevent muscle mass that's lost and my hair falling out. I am like a stickler about getting my protein in now uh, since working with my dietitian. So I'm going to mix those around. I made a ton of them. It's going to last for four days, but it's also for me and for the Duke. I haven't gotten the count yet. My hot husband on to overnight protein oats just yet, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to make some pumpkin here in a minute, but first, what tumbler will I pick today? You guys know on Instagram at Countess of Shopping Instagram, I always pick my tumbler in my Instagram stories. Um, I bought this cozy tumbler. It looks like like the Stanley one. That Stanley is $45. That cozy one was 20. So I got it on my deals of the day, which I'll link down below my Amazon deals of the day show that I just did. The only thing about it is the straw stinks. So I just use my Stanley straw <laughs> instead of the inferior cozy straw and it literally fit the Stanley straw fit in there. It literally is the same thing. I am completely obsessed with it. So I ended up using it with my element electrolytes. Um, because I was up early, my family wasn't I ended up getting the watermelon salt. My absolute favorites of the Element Electrolytes are raspberry salt. Today is day six of my shot, so I'm not having – I'm hungry. And so uh, I like to have Element because it helps with Manjaro side effects. When you go to drinkelement.com forward slash queen, there's actually eight free sticks for you as a gift from Element, which is so sweet. It's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Q-U-E-E-N. I'm obsessed. I have one to two sticks per days. Some days I don't have any, but most days I have one and sometimes two, depending on how physically active I've been. And today I'm going to be really physically active. <laughs> Today's going to be an active day. So I'm taking my 40 ounce tumbler with me. I like to add a lot of water to it. If it's too salty for you, just add more water. If it's, you know, you can have anywhere to make the flavoring the way you want. Yes, my friends, it's after Halloween and I'm literally taking the pumpkins off my porch to make them and cook because I'm not trying to pay $4 for a can of organic pumpkin. I'm just going to use the one that I had on my porch. Literally microwave it for five minutes in a bowl, cut it apart, take out this, um, cut it in half, and then take out the, the filling of it and then the seeds. I'm using the seeds. Do you want to see my seed recipe? Let me know down in the comments below if that would be of help for you because they are a high source of protein. So I'm literally scraping out the strings 
I just got off of the microwave and now I'm going to put it on a piece of parchment paper. I have set my oven for 400 degrees and I'm going to roast it in there. I'm going to check on it around the 20-ish mark and see how it's doing. I also learned for your seeds, you do need to add them into water and let them soak for 12 to 24 hours. So I'm, I'm putting olive oil in there. My favorite olive oil is Laconico olive oil. They're awesome. They have 500 olive groves in Greece. <laughs> so good. So here's where you have to fill it up with water and let it soak for 12 to 24 hours. Okay, my pumpkins came out of the oven. You can see they're steaming hot, friends. And I'm gonna put this in my overnight oats and I'm also gonna use it for an upcoming crock pot chili recipe. It's a great source of fiber. It's a really good filler too, just if you wanna have volume to eat but not that many calories in there. And it was an exp it was totally like, it was from my porch. So <laughs> we just had the cute little decoration ones. And so I've actually, today I'm doing it. I'm roasting another one. I'm gonna do two or three. Please notice I'm crossing my legs and I have kneecaps. If you know, you know. Mr. Freddy says, hey, we're going to go walk him together as a family um, and get a, our, our first walk in the day. First walk of two I'm actually going to do today. But Mr. Freddy was very excited to go on a little hike. We hiked for 45 minutes. I was quite tired. Those legs are tired and the count there. Oh, that's my hot husband. We came back. I had my Manjaro lunch. I ended up having shawarma chicken thighs from my trainer Joe's Hall. 21 grams of protein, friends, for only four ounces. It was five pound five five dollars and seventy five cents per pound for my shawarma chicken thighs. And I ate until I was hungry with this whole thing. This was literally my manjaro lunch. It was so good. When I say it's so good, it's good. But here's the only thing, it's got a lot of sodium in it. I didn't realize that as I was eating it, a lot of sodium. I ended up having my overnight oats. I let them soak for at least five hours. And then I had a bowl of that that was like not the after. Um, I went to go walk the 130 pound foster dog. Her name's Lola. She's still not adopted out yet. So I went to go walk her. So I walked a ton today. Um, I'm using my cast iron skillet. I'm frying up some onions and I'm going to make some turkey burgers, but super lean, 99% lean. The reason why I don't have full fat burgers anymore is my stomach with my Manjaro side effects can't take it. So I have to have like my body is like, no, ma'am, Pam, you need to have leaner proteins. So I'm doing ground turkey breast and I got three pounds of it and I'm just making literally cheeseburgers. My little boy's like, mom, can we have cheeseburgers? So I'm making turkey cheeseburgers and I'm freezing the rest of them. So for the rest of the week, we'll have something to eat on. Mr. Freddie got my leftover fixins in there. He's like, yes, for the leftovers. Um, but I like having these in the freezer because they're really easy during a busy work week just to pull out for a Manjaro dinner and a Manjaro what I eat in a day. I love having those. Okay. I bought these at Trader Joe's. They're Ram Bhutan. Excuse my pronunciation of them. They're from Asia. They're delicious. They're like lychees, you guys told me on Encounters of Shopping Instagram. They're like lychees. They were so good. Just don't eat the pit. The, the Duke loved them as well. Um, it's rounding near the evening and I decided to do some more meal prep just the way I started my day. I'm ending it and do a whole sheet pan of vegetables. I had all these Trader Joe's vegetables that I needed to use out and either freeze or make or just have. Like, I find that I eat more veggies when I have them prepped and made in a glass Pyrex container, which I'll link down below, by the way, all my stuff. As is my um, element of electrolytes, I'll link those down in the description link below for you to get to because they're so amazing. Um, but I just literally cooked up green beans, broccolinis. You could get broccoli, but I just use broccolini. I used my Laconico olive oil to drizzle across. I used a little bit of Malden salt on there, a little bit of my pepper, drizzled this on, and then I had set the oven to 400 degrees with my parchment paper so I have easy cleanup afterwards because your girl does not like to do kitchen cleanup. <laughs> and then I asked a little bit of leftover patatas and some of the tomatoes in there too. They were so good. It was so good. My little boy ate all the green beans. He picked through them and literally ate every single green bean. And as a mom, how could I possibly be mad at that? I'm like, get your green beans in, baby. Get your green beans. So those will be for tomorrow, but I'm adding my Malden salt and my pepper on there. And we'll use those for later on in the week. Sons, green beans. I wish I had bought more green beans. <laughs> Whatevs. It's all good. It's all good. So there's some of the pepper too that I added just for some my friend David's like, Elizabeth, you need to season food more. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to season my food. Thanks, David, for the encouragement. I'm trying to season my food better. So it tastes delicious too, by the way. And those tomatoes were delicious. They were like squishy and it was perfect. Perfect for some meal prep too. Okay. I have linked down in the description link below. You can get all of my Manjaro weight loss articles. I have a ton of them, including a Manjaro free group. There's thousands of people in there, including Wegovi people, some agglutide weight loss people, Terra Zepatide weight loss people. All are welcome at that table. 
And make sure you go check out my free blog resources and get your Element Electrolytes down in the description link below. They've been so generous to give eight free sticks to the Countess of Shopping community for every purchase so that you make even the small purchase. My absolute favorites are the Raspberry Salt, but they do have a ton of different flavors like citrus, um, orange, watermelon. Highly recommend. See you next time, friends. Make sure you click subscribe and like.